What's goody fellas and welcome back to the UMKC Dynasty here on the channel. We did just win our first ever natty now. A lot of you were saying, oh, well, that was too easy, blah, blah, blah. Trust me, I got something for you guys. But first and foremost, let's go through our season. I'm very interested to see, you know, what's going on, etc., etc. We did look at the stats, but after that bowl game, Freddie Barnes, second in the nation, jumped up above Willie Taggart. Freddie Barnes breaking records. Arthur Smith got one as well. Freddie Barnes another. He's broken four records in that one season, mate. Sad to say, but the best quarterback UMKC has ever had. <laughs> we won coach of the year. That's a lot of upgrade points. 12 and 1. We started out 3 and 9 in that first season. Jeez, mate. Now, this is always the saddest part, man. The players leaving. I don't actually remember who is in this year's class. But let's have a look. Cave Kaiser, the cornerback, is going to be leaving. Jim Pickens, Dom Marola as well. Oh, Cole, we got C-Mac, who was a good receiver that first year. He's gone. Nobody's going to the league yet. Frank Diesel going to leave the school. Our kick is gone. Carl Bell, who remembers Carl Bell? From that first season as well. Kassane is gone. Oh no. Amon is gone. Yikes, bro. None of them are even going to the league. Not one. I wonder, because we just won a net, is anybody going to transfer? N nobody. Wow, not one person, eh? Last year, we were two-star. Now, we should be three-star. That means that this team is finally going to start getting some good overall players. First and foremost, we have to do this. We only have three players left, being Lorenzo Brown, Kurt Ward, and Bo Palmer. We have... Oh, wait, we have no scholarship. Oh, well, okay, it doesn't even matter then. I don't think we got like a top class because we did have to recruit two-star players. We got the 55th best class. We are up to a three-star though, you see that? As for like the five and four-star, and by that I mean by Banks and Nash, we're gonna redshirt Banks. Freddie Barnes still has his uh, senior season to go yet. So this upcoming year, we don't get to get a five-star because we already got next year's one this year, if that makes sense. Nash is without a doubt starting though. Uh, we need him on the field, especially with the sliders I'm about to introduce. We have a lot of quarterbacks, Rep Banks, of course. Hopefully he doesn't transfer because if he does, that's going to annoy me a lot. But yes, he will be sitting out his uh, freshman season. Let me check at his stats. He's got some decent excel, decent agility. So he's going to be like a... A better Freddie Barnes when he was in his first season. Holy! 95... Wow, Rep Banks is that dude. 95 throw power, 82 accuracy. I cannot wait for Rep Banks to start. He's going to be so good. On the rush now, we have a million running backs. Jeez, mate. We have so many people to cut. But the problem is everybody's a Patreon. We do need to get a tight end this year, though. Martin Hammer, even though he's 59, he probably got to 64 or something. But... In saying that, the dude is an absolute freak. Led the team in sacks, 84 XL. He is no joke. We got Sammy Cyclone in his senior season. We have a lot of linebackers, which is a good problem to have, mate. Especially in NCAA 14. And there is my guy, Brian Nash. First and foremost, he has to go to middle linebacker because I have to user him. Espinosa is now moving to right outside linebacker. He had a great season. In fact, he caught an interception in the natty. Cornerback is stacked. What we like to see. Coley and Jacobs leading that charge. Both of them are juniors. We got three freshmen down here. Free safety is ass, but it is what it is. And strong safety, kinda ass too. All right, here we go. What do we got? Barnes up to a 95. We finally have a solid mid 90 overall imagine he gets injured I, I don't want to put that out in the universe but geez accuracy going up to a 92 he can play cornerback i didn't know that injury goes up to an 84 thank freaking goodness for that jacob's going up to an 85 he'll be a 90 by his senior season morrison who is now a senior zach reynolds returning for his senior season also our cornerback duo gonna be kind of nice we got Arthur, who went up five overall. He didn't get any speed, but he got two XL. What did he get? Awareness. Please tell me his catching went up. It went up five. Thank goodness he can finally catch the ball. Let's go. I'm going to cut the worst two stars that we just signed. So Rucker will be a, a quarterback because you got to remember, I have to add the Patreons as well. But I don't want to cut any Patreons to add Patreons. Now that we're a three-star school, shit really gets real, mate. We can actually sign genuinely good talent with the amount of three stars that i'm about to get we're not gonna need these 50 overalls mate that was actually really easy good that's super good 
This video is brought to you by Felix Gray. For me, having to stare at the screen for most of the day ends in a lot of headaches and sore eyes. Most blue light glasses overpromise and underdeliver, filtering 3% of your screen's light, whereas Felix Gray's products filter 15 times more. And with all of our favorite devices being sources of blue light, whether you watch a movie with your family, are responding to work emails, or even studying, we could all be doing more to take care of our eyes. Their optical lenses relieve your eye strain symptoms whilst they're more advanced sleeve glasses relieve eye strain and were specifically designed for late night screen time to improve your sleep their frames are hand finished from italian acetate making them lightweight and super comfortable mate they're super comfortable they slide right on and if you don't love your new felix curry glasses in the first 30 days their in-house customer care team will take care of exchanges and returns no hassle and most importantly show your eyes some love with glasses that your eyes will love too thank you to felix gray for the sponsor and now back to the video okay there we go i like this indiana we got ken arizona state this is some hard games right here in conference is always a bitch let's just keep it a buck but indiana to start out is going to be tough mate with the new sliders we're going to introduce i don't even know what to say mate emmius one is going to red shirt this year is that way Espinosa gets to get the start and it keeps longevity throughout the team. I like that. We're starting to be able to get four stars, but we can't take him. Oh, Lyman is 69. Let's get it. There's so many four stars now, but I just can't get him. I'm going to have to go back and watch some of Flemlo's videos with Utep because I know he had a thing where he was a god at recruiting three star players and finding gems. We're pretty much going to have to do the same thing. 71 overall. We'll take that. I only want receivers if they're going to be fast, though. All right, so hopefully one of these guys is a gem. If one of them, there we go. Nick Goulery is up to a 70. 72 for Ricky Petty. These are all three-star players. Justin Kemp, we need a receiver. We got one. Dante Marshall up to a 71. 76 for Dave Anderson. Ooh, man, I like this. I reckon I could build one hell of a squad with only three stars this is kind of nice 70 overall another defensive end tyler reed he has 90 excel let's get it he's a bust very exciting off season but there's a one more thing to do before we start does this make you feel better does me dropping everything down make you feel a lot better about the season oh yeah you wanted it to be hard it's gonna be a lot harder interceptions on a 35 for both teams and the cpu is gonna go up to 100. So we might have just won a national championship, but we very well might not win one for a couple of years. We'll have to see how it goes. A bowl game would be an amazing season for us with these sliders, mate. Okay, here we go. We are in 36. Wow, not bad. 77 overall, our offense is freaking goaded, but our defense is a 73. So that's a bit of a yikes. Hey, hopefully you guys are excited too. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. You guys are always the real freaking MVPs, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Sometimes I'm winning, can I breathe right underwater? Ooh.